For the forward roll on rings, we have to understand that the closer the arms and elbows are to the body, the stronger you are. And the second thing is that if you can pivot around the rings and keep that strong structure and not actually feel like you're going under and then over the rings, you will be stronger. So here I'm demonstrating this. See, as my feet are coming down, I'm already coming up. So there's that counter motion. It's a rotation around the rings. It's not a dropping below and then coming back up and over. This is what happens when you drop your hips below the rings and your elbows come out away from your body. You lose all of your power. So watch, the hips drop too quickly, the elbows flare out. And that's what happens when your extremities get pulled away from your hips and your core. Um, and then gravity starts to come into the mix and throw spanners in the works. So here you'll notice my elbows are pulling in and towards my hips. I'm keeping the rings close and I'm already coming up before my feet have dropped. So when my feet do drop, because my body's in such a tight bundle, it just kind of rotates me up and over. So I'm using my rotational momentum. So you can break it down into three parts, the pike and the lean, then the rings turning toward the chest, and then the pause to feel elbow to hip as you come up and over. So watch again right here. Arms stay tight to body. I fold, I keep my hips up and my elbows close, and then I use the leg swing down to come up and around the rings.